Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a food related video. I'm so happy that you guys have been interested in seeing this. So obviously you guys know that I'm gonna be showing you what I eat in a day. I actually filmed three days of breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So you're gonna see three days of me eating somewhat clean. If you guys are like, you've never seen my face before, you have no idea what I'm talking about in terms of like the diet that I've been doing. I haven't been doing anything strict. What I wanted to do is, I came back from Miami, I had stuffed my face in Miami. So what I wanted to do is just kind of do, um, like try to cut out carbs from my diet and try to cut out sugars as much as I can. I notice a huge difference in my body and like I'm able to lose weight quickly when I cut out the things that I love, you know, like the breads, the pastas, um, when I cut out candy and sweets and cookies that kind of thing which i'm normally eating all day long so that's what you guys are gonna see here it's nothing super strict like i can't tell you oh i'm following this to a t like it's sort of whole 30 ish but keto too like i did allow myself to have um some cheese and i did like we'll go through it like as i show you guys the meals i just didn't want to like deprive myself and like get super crazy joe and i once upon a time ago i think it's been like two or three years now we did the whole 30 and it was very strict i actually have a video that i filmed that i'll link down below in case you guys want to see it i filmed everything that we ate in 30 days when we were doing the whole 30 so if you need like more ideas or want to see what that kind of looks like to be eating super clean i'll link that video you guys can see it but i didn't want to go like that crazy this time around so let's just get into it this is what i ate breakfast lunch and dinner so let's go ahead and get started so the first day was very simple my breakfast looked like this i made some scrambled eggs i made some ready to microwave kind of bacon and then I've had fruit on the side, very simple breakfast. This is something that I eat on a regular basis. So for me, that's not hard to eat. So then we moved on to lunch. Here I'm making kind of like a mishmash of like different things that I enjoy eating. So kind of like snacking, but you guys are gonna see like here I'm trying to make like a Capri salad. Um, I make different variations of this. It's one of my favorite things to eat. So I take a tomato and I just slice it up. And then I get some mozzarella cheese, take a couple slices of that. And then I also have some fresh basil. And then I'm gonna put some balsamic vinegar on it. It's seriously like one of my favorite things to eat. This balsamic glaze you can actually get like on Amazon. I always order it whenever I run out because it's my favorite, but any balsamic glaze is good because it's like a little thicker than balsamic vinegar and it just makes it just so much tastier. I put a little bit of salt and pepper on that too and then i finish it off with a little bit of the basil and then once i have the capri salad done then i just rolled up a couple pieces of prosciutto i love prosciutto normally when i eat prosciutto i have it with crackers but because i was trying to cut out the carbs i just had the prosciutto by itself next to the salad and to me it tastes just as good like again this is not like a hard thing for me to eat because this is what i would normally reach for on a regular basis just modifying it a little bit so that i take out like the crackers that don't really do much for my body so so far so good then i had one of these like little orange cuties that i love to eat too so i put that on the side i always like to have some kind of fruit with my lunch and then one thing i did allow myself to have are these plantain chips again that is like a carby kind of food but rather than having any other chips when i'm eating clean i do let myself have plantain chips and I pair plantain chips with pretty much anything. Um, like sometimes I'll have guacamole. You guys are gonna see like one of the days I had guacamole. But on this day, that's what my lunch looked like and it was freaking bomb. Moving on to dinner, I had a home chef meal this day. This was delicious, it turned out so good. It's just a very simple, basic steak. Um, it was supposed to be like mashed potatoes, but I decided to modify it so that we weren't adding in like the sour cream and like the creamy stuff in the potatoes so i just chopped up the potatoes and i was gonna roast them and that's what i ended up doing it tasted just as good chopped up some green beans here too and then when i have like veggies like this whether it's broccoli or green beans sweet potatoes all of that i've shown you guys a million times how i prep my veggies but i just take a little bit of olive oil coat that in olive oil salt and pepper and then i usually bake them in the oven at 420 for it kind of depends it depends like how you know roasted you want them sometimes it's 25 minutes sometimes it's longer so you just kind of have to keep an eye on it but that is what my meal looked like this was delicious normally when i have stuff like this i'd pair it with like some bread on the side but we cut out the bread 
and this was a very delicious meal and with home chef that you guys know that i love um it made it super easy so now we're moving on to day two for breakfast i had a little bit of this stonefield organic low-fat vanilla yogurt i like having yogurt in the mornings but i can't have yogurt by itself so i did let myself have a little bit of granola in there i have this forgot the brand of the granola that I use, but it's like one of my all-time favorites. Before I put in the granola though, I did let myself put a little bit of pumpkin pie spice in my yogurt just to give it a little bit of extra like fall flavor. So that was super tasty. And then I threw in the granola, gives it that like little crunch that I want. And then that was my breakfast with a little bit of fruit on the side. I had made the kids some fruit and I had like leftovers cause like they weren't gonna eat it all. So I just served myself that and that was really good. So then moving on to lunch, what I wanted to originally do here is do kind of like a BLT without the bread. So just kind of do tomato, bacon, um, and then put it on some lettuce. But when I freaking did my grocery order, I asked for lettuce and instead they gave me cabbage. I don't know if that's ever happened to you, but it, it was not the same. I was like, oh, maybe it'll taste the same. Maybe I can make it work. Uh, spoiler alert, I could not make it work. It did not taste very good. So I ended up just like having the tomato and the bacon like without the cabbage thing because that tasted nasty but i was just trying to like do the same thing without the bread so took the tomatoes put a little bit of salt and pepper made a little sandwich yeah i put a little bit of olive oil made a little sandwich out of it again added some fruit i'm like obsessed with these little cuties these mandarins they're like my favorite and they're just so easy to like whip up like you don't have to cut them i'm so lazy i swear you just like feel them and that is it and then I had the Baybell cheeses. I love these cheeses. So again, if you did the whole 30, you wouldn't normally um, be allowed to have cheese, but I let myself have cheese because I'm a freaking mouse. I love to have my cheese. So that's just like something nice to have on the side. I could have also had like maybe um, like a hard boiled egg or something like that. That probably would have gone well with like the vibe that I had here. So I did that and then I went ahead and made myself a little bit of like my homemade guacamole so i love avocados i usually like avocado toast in the morning but since i was cutting back on the breads didn't have it that way so with the avocado i did add that on to like the little blt situation i had but then with the rest of it i tried to make my little homemade um guacamole which is very simple it's just a little bit of the avocado and then some salt and some pepper and then a little bit of lime juice i like my um, guacamole to be very limey um i like it to be like very citrusy so mix that all together mash it all up and then i added some more of those plantain chips and then i had like chips and guac and everything else here and it was very tasty except for the fact that it was cabbage if it had been like butter lettuce it would have been bomb so then for dinner this day i also had another home chef meal this was like a mongolian beef stir fry it didn't have rice in there which was pretty surprising because normally i'll have like rice with these kind of like um stir fry bowls so it was very tasty i just took some ground beef and i browned it i'll have like the full recipe linked down below if i can find it very simple just ground the um the beef and then i took a little bit of the broccoli that came in the bag chopped that up into teeny tiny little pieces because we're going to add that in with the stir fry once the ground beef was browned i had to take it off of the pan because then everything else is going to go inside so added the broccoli and then added a little pack of coleslaw again if you're new to home chef like you've never seen home chef before everything that you need to make the meal like comes in the kit which makes everything very easy for me i just follow the little picture instructions on the card and then throw everything in so i do have a code with them by the way shameless plug if you want to try them i have like a code that gets you 90 dollars off so i'll leave that in the description box but this is my little stir fry situation, adding in some garlic that came in there and then just letting everything cook in here. I think there was some salt and pepper that we added and then I'm gonna go ahead and mix it all up and then cover it and let it steam for a while. Meanwhile, I had to get like some water and some cornstarch and just mix that up. And then of course, Jackson was screeching at my leg while I'm trying to do all of this. Hello, Jackson. Then I had to add a little bit of this garlic sesame sauce. That's like the sauce that I was gonna use, some brown sugar. And then once everything was done steaming, like once the veggies had been pretty cooked, I opened that up and then I added in the sauce. I kind of mixed everything up again. I added that cornstarch solution and then I finally added in back, like I added back in the ground beef and let that kind of like simmer together. And let me tell you, this was like one of my favorite things that I've had from Home Chef. I didn't add, there was like a spicy sauce I was supposed to put in. Don't like spicy stuff, but this is what it finally looked like and it was delicious and very clean very healthy clean ingredients 
So um, I was very happy with that. All right, moving on to the final day, day three. So for breakfast, if it's not um, like avocado toast or eggs or yogurt usually, um, what I like to do is have a smoothie. So I have this bag of mixed fruit that I got at Walmart and it's not organic. I'm sure I could find a healthier bag that's organic and whatever, but this is what I had in my freezer. So I wanted like a tangy smoothie. So I let myself have a little bit of apple juice. I know apple juice has a little bit of sugar, but whatever, it's still better than eating something super like unhealthy or running to McDonald's to have a sandwich. So I'm filling up my blender with just a little bit of this apple juice, and then I'm adding in some of the fruit. It's like strawberries, mangoes, pineapples. It makes a very tart smoothie, which I like. Blending that all up, and then that's gonna be my smoothie for the morning. And then I did end up making a side of eggs and bacon. So all in all, pretty good, healthy, clean breakfast. Next up, we have lunch. And you guys, some of you guys are gonna hate me because I'm making tuna. And over on my Instagram the other day, a bunch of you guys were saying, like in your unpopular opinions, that you hate canned tuna. Um, I love tuna. I have freaking spent years of my life eating tuna when I was a kid, when I would go to school. Like the only sandwich I would eat is a tuna sandwich. Um, I would never have cold cuts. I literally just had tuna. So I love tuna. Joseph Buell, my husband, freaking hates it, hates tuna. So let me know which side you're on. But when I make my tuna, I make it very simple. Like I open up the can, obviously drain it, and then I add a little bit of mayo. The mayo I have here is not the best. Normally the one that I like is the one that has like a little bit of avocado in it. So mayo, a little bit of lime juice, just to make it again kind of tangy. And then I mix it all together and that is my tuna. And then normally I would put it on some bread. But since we're not doing the whole bread thing this week, what I did is I just kind of put it on the side and then added some plantain chips and just kind of made it like a dip. So to go with the tuna for lunch, I also had like some leftover pieces of avocado, put that to the side. I put a little bit of salt and pepper on my avocado. Also put a little bit of lime juice to that. Then Riley hadn't finished all her chicken nuggets. So I added the chicken nuggets that she didn't eat onto my plate because I didn't want them to go to waste and just gives me a little bit more protein. Also added some cheese cubes, and this is again, just like a mixture of different things that I like to eat. This is my own little charcuterie plate. And then I did want something sweet, but I didn't, like I can't have cookies and stuff like I would normally do. So I got an apple, I love the green apples, sliced them up, and then I put some peanut butter on the slices. Sometimes it's a little hard to get the peanut butter on there because like when the apples are wet, you know, it's kind of hard for the peanut butter to stick. But this is one of my all time favorite treats when I'm trying to eat healthy. Um, I love apples and peanut butter. And then the final thing there is the plantain chips. And that is what my lunch looked like. And it was honestly really filling you guys. Like the three days that I was eating, I did not go hungry. I was not starving. I felt like I got a lot of good fats and I was very content. So then moving on to dinner, this night I didn't have any home chef. So this is one of my like go-to meals whenever I'm like, I have no idea what to make. Um, I always have some kind of veggie in the fridge. So I had a pack of Brussels sprouts that already come halved, which I love. I got, I get these at Walmart. Just makes things so easy. I put them on a baking sheet with a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper. And again, I'm gonna roast those in the oven. Then I got some chicken breast. I tried to make extra so we could have lunch the next day. So I'm putting four chicken breasts there. Um, just the same way that I do the veggies. I do olive oil, salt, and pepper. Nothing super fancy, no fancy seasoning. And then what I did do, this is like what I call like my French onion chicken, which is very easy and I've made it a bunch of times. I probably have shown to you guys already. But what I do is I take a little slice of cheese. Normally it would be Swiss cheese, but I, I didn't have any Swiss cheese. So I just used what I had. I had some provolone cheese. Add the cheese right on top of the chicken breast. And then the final thing that you put on top is some of like those crispy onions. So add some crispy onions on top. It's delicious. Like just try it. Like put it in the oven at 420 for like uh, 10, 15 minutes, kind of watch the temp. And then that is what it looked like at the very end. Um, with the Brussels sprouts, sometimes I put a little bit of balsamic vinegar on it or balsamic glaze. Love it, this is one of my go-to quick and easy meals and just a very filling dinner. So that, you guys, is it. That is what I ate three days of clean eating. What did you guys think? Um, one of the things that surprised me, honestly, was that I was expecting that I was gonna want to have like an evening like treat of some kind because usually when Joe and I finish the day, like we go downstairs and I want popcorn or I want uh, cookies, ice cream, you name it. I have a very big sweet tooth. So I had planned on allowing myself to have like for dessert, having 
strawberries with whipped cream um that was gonna be like my go-to like dessert that i could have after dinner but those nights like i either got busy or distracted and didn't end up having dessert i did want you to know like even though i didn't show it that is something that i probably would have had um for dessert or like the days that i didn't have the apples with peanut butter that probably would have been like a good dessert something that i didn't show you also is that i still let myself have my coffee so i would either have coffee or I would have my mud water. You guys know that I love my mud water. Sometimes I have them separately. Sometimes I mix them. Like I, I just, I like it anyway. Like I like adding the mud water to the coffee or having it by itself. So I did have coffee and then whenever I made my coffee or my mud water, whichever one it was, I did put creamer, like very sugary creamer in my coffee. And that's just because I can't stand the taste of just like black coffee. So did put a little bit of creamer. I didn't put my usual like whipped cream that I normally like top my coffee with. So I just tried to make, you know, little changes in terms of that. Like I could have said, oh, I'm not going to have any coffee because I have, you know, creamer in it. But again, I didn't want to go super extreme. So I hope that was helpful. I hope that you guys got maybe some inspo, some ideas on what it looks like when i eat a little cleaner um if you guys want me to do more i'll do more go ahead and let me know but yeah that is it you guys again if you want to see that whole 30 video it'll be down below i'm not sure if joe and i are ever gonna do it again like that strict but um it might be something you might want to look into or try so that is all you guys if you guys happen to be new here by the way stick around subscribe i'll share some of my other um what i eat in a day videos like down below too stick around hang out be my friend over here i share a lot of like motherhood and lifestyle content plus whatever you want to see just let me know down below in the comments so i love your freaking faces thanks for being here make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys